What's up, everybody? This is your boy Antoine Criminal Mosley. Welcome to episode one of Ask Criminal 2K13. This is a brand new year, and we're going to start everything on a clean slate. I got 10 questions here asked by you guys, the fans and friends alike. And some of these questions are pretty interesting, but some are kind of funny. But nonetheless, I guarantee you that every question this year will be answered, regardless if you send it in on time or not. I will definitely get to your question, guaranteed. So don't worry about that. Enough chit chat, let's get right down to the first 10 questions of 2013. Are you ready? Here we go. Julie, I can honestly say that I've been around all 20 years for Monday Night Raw, and there you can't put them all you know, you can't put all the greatest moments down on a piece of paper. If it did, it took me. It would take me forever to write them down. I can't really pinpoint one favorite moment. But I think that I could probably pick three out of a bunch. Number one, I guess, okay, in no particular order, I'm going to do it this way. Because if I do one, two, three, it's not going to make sense. And you're going to be like, oh, no, this should be number one. This should be number two, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, no particular order. These are my three favorite Monday Night Raw moments of all time. All right? First, the first moment that I consider one of my favorites is the one that got me on Monday Night Raw, episode 999, when I touted what my favorite Raw moment was, and it was when Stone Cold Steve Austin stunned the entire McMahon family in succession. That was probably one of the greatest moments I've ever seen because it's never been done before. All right. Number two. I think another great moment of mine was when John Cena was drafted number one by, by Eric Bischoff, who actually did something good with his tenure at, at uh, WWE. He actually did something good with it, and he ended up drafting John Cena to Raw, and it was a monumental moment because he's been on Raw ever since. You know, everybody knows I'm a John Cena fan, but I, ha I am a fan of other wrestlers as well. That moment just stuck out for me. And the third moment, hmm, kind of tough. Really, really tough. But I can honestly say the greatest moment I think one of the greatest moments is when The Rock was announced as the guest host for WrestleMania 27 in Atlanta, Georgia. That night, I knew something was big, and I did not expect that it would be The Rock. I thought it was somebody else, to be honest with you. I thought somebody else was going to come back and host, but in order for it to really, really be one of the greatest WrestleManias of all time, I would definitely say that The Rock coming out was a great moment. So there you go. Those are my three favorite Raw moments of the past 20 years, even though they were all recent. Well, all right, Curtis, here's your answer. The one WrestleMania that we all went to that was my absolute favorite, bar none, was WrestleMania 27 in Atlanta. Why? Because one, my hometown. Two, everybody came through. Three, didn't have to pay for a hotel, stayed at my parents' place. <laughs> Shout out to my mom and dad. Thank you again for that. Four, possibly one of the greatest WrestleManias I've ever been to, especially seeing the fact that, yes, it was back home in Atlanta, Georgia, at my hometown, and I had the greatest time, and I know everybody that went with us with the Hooters Nexus all had a blast. And, got, and the guy still the, he still can't stop talking about that day. Especially when we had that breakfast. Ray. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, WrestleMania 27 would definitely be one of the best ones I've been to. No disrespect to WrestleMania 28 because that was probably the greatest one in Florida, period. But WrestleMania 27 definitely stood out for me. Well, it's going to be different in a lot of ways, you know. I'm definitely going to start doing some different things, not only in my life, but with my friends' lives and with videos and production work and ideas being thrown on the table and things of that nature. I'm definitely going to do a lot of things different this year than I did last year. Last year, there was so much that I wanted to do, but everything got in the way. Basically, you know, work, uh, my life, drama, situations, Things of that nature. Everything just got in the way, and I couldn't even focus. That's one thing that I that I 
tried to get out of 2012 is I needed to focus more. So I think this year is definitely going to be a year where I'm definitely going to focus on all of my tasks and I'm going to get them all done. And of course, the new thing I did right now, you see a change. I've got a poster behind me now. So I think I'm going to try and have a poster on every Ask Criminal show that I do this year. I'm going to try and put a poster up here, whether it be from a movie or a game, whether it's new or old or retro or classic or whatever. I'm going to try and do that. So if you guys out there have any posters that you want me to use for your show, let me know and I'll definitely put it up here behind me and you'll see your poster on the show. I think it's an idea. I think something changed. You know, something's different. Well, Stephanie, I can honestly say that I know for a fact that... If I don't say the Ravens, you're probably going to hate me. But I can tell you right now, it's down to the wire. I don't know who's going to win. Believe it or not, I was the one that voted for the Ravens to beat the Broncos at work. And nobody else picked Denver. Well, nobody else picked Baltimore, rather. But I'm the only one that picked Baltimore. And I got it right. So, Baltimore's been an underdog the entire playoff run. They were underdogs against Indianapolis. I think they were underdogs by like, I think, six or seven points. Then they were underdogs against the Broncos by, what was it, seven, seven or eight? And now they're the underdogs against New England by nine points. Really? I can say it right now. If I'm going to use a wrestling term right now, the Baltimore Ravens are the Ray Mysterios of the NFL playoffs right now. Which means the ultimate underdogs always come out on top. Okay, about, okay maybe about 85% of the time. Regardless, I can tell you this much. I see a hardball bowl, Baltimore, San Fran, going at it. Because they were there last year, they, but they fell short. This year, I really think that the Ravens are going to win the Super Bowl. Hey, why not? Let's send Ray Lewis out with a championship. Why not? Give him what he deserves, people, please. Give him what he deserves. <laughs> Christina, I have a lot of goals and resolutions that I'm definitely going to try my hardest to fulfill this year. There's a lot of them, believe me, but I guaranteed myself and I made a promise to myself that I would not stop until I get everything I've worked so hard for this year. I'm going to make sure that this will be my year. 2013 is designed for me. I think it's a lucky year for me with more, with more reasons than one. You know, whether it be with my show, my job, my career, anything of that nature, I'm going to accomplish it this year. So whatever goals I set before this year started, I'm going to do them. I'm going to work on them. And you better believe that this is going to be one great year for me. I guarantee you that. Eric, you would ask me this question, wouldn't you? <laughs> Well, I'm glad to have it back. Now I have the best of both worlds in my living room, again, with the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. So if you guys want to know what my gamer tag is, if you have my P60, P, P60, that's funny. If you have my PS3 gamer tag, then it's going to be the exact same on the Xbox 360. Just look for me and add me. If you don't know what it is, I'll tell you right now, my gamer tag on both systems, Criminal Mosley. Capital K for criminal, capital M for Mosley. It's all together. If you want to find me, add me on there. I'm definitely going to make sure I get some more games for these systems. And I'm definitely going to make sure that I have a good time playing with you guys. Who knows? You just might appear on one of my Crim Show game nights when I start that up again. So be ready for that. But yeah, I'm glad to have it back. I don't know what to tell you, Justin. I mean, I'm, I'm really excited at the fact that I'm going to be seeing 30 years old this year. Lord's willing, I'll see 30. And, you know, people are going to people are gonna heckle me about it the day I turn 30. They're like, oh, you're old, you're doing this, da 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 You know what? I may be old, but I can definitely keep up with some of you young cats. All right? I've learned a lot in three decades. A lot. And you better believe that I am not going to stop. Until I learn, you know what? It's always a learning process. 30 is just, 30 for me is a new 20. So we just gotta wait and see what happens there, okay? But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm excited to see 30, and believe me, it's gonna be a great one. I know it for sure. Brian, 
This is a no-brainer. The game I'm most excited for this year is Grand Theft Auto V. I think everybody's ready for Grand Theft Auto V. Are you kidding me? You get to control three characters, three main characters, and they're all going to intertwine into one. This isn't Resident Evil 6, where you have like six players and you could combine that into one. But Grand Theft Auto V, the franchise itself, as soon as you hear Grand Theft Auto, it's going to be great. But this Grand Theft Auto is going to have more, more to work with and more storylines and more situations than all the Grand Theft Autos put together. So Grand Theft Auto V is definitely going to be on the top of my list for games to buy this year. And you know what? I can honestly say that Grand Theft Auto V, even though it's not even out yet, it's, a, it's, a, it's definitely going to be in the running for game of the year come November. Okay, so Grand Theft Auto V is probably the most anticipated game flat out. So if you, if you agree with me that Grand Theft Auto V is going to be the greatest game this year, go buy it, reserve it, and shoot. If you got a gamer tag online, man, I'll see you on there. Well, Danny. Yes, it's about that time I end up getting myself a car. And I am ready to get my car this year. I'm already looking right now, and I'm definitely going to have one. The first song that I'm going to play when I get my car is going to be a loud one. <laughs> I want to make sure everybody knows I got my car. But um, I don't know. Maybe we'll do like a, a rap theme song or something like that. Seeing the fact I'm a wrestling fan, I might use one of the wrestling themes that I like so much. So we'll, we'll see where it goes from there. But... I know for a fact that when I get my car, I'm going to jam, I'm going to enjoy myself, and just finally be complete. Finally be at peace. That's the only thing missing from my life is my car. That's it. Once I get my car, then I think everything else will work just fine. Jason, I can tell you right now, change is definitely coming, and it's already started. It's already started. You know, I changed a lot of things starting with the beginning of the year where I told everybody that I was going to do it. I got rid of people that did not deserve to be in my life anymore because of either dramatic situations or people thought they were, you know, big and bad and do whatever they want, say whatever they want, or they just try to turn a blind eye to me and they try to backstab me. Well, I got rid of those people. I got rid of all negative people around me in my life and now I'm more focused on positive thinking rather than negative thinking I've got a smile on my face when I go to work that's a definite change and I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more this year to not only change myself but to change the people around me for the better not for the worse so I think that this year is definitely going to be a great life-changing experience for me and I'm going to make sure that no one will ever forget what I do this year. My name will definitely be known by year's end. And it's going to be in a good way. Change is coming. And I've got so much to bring. Just wait and see. Well, everybody, that's going to do it for the first episode of Ask Criminal 2K13. That's the way it goes. You guys give me the questions. I give you the answers. 100% honest, guaranteed. If you want to see your questions appear on the next episode, hit me up on the link below, and I'll take a look. And if I like what I see, your question could very well appear on the next episode. And you better believe that I will answer it and definitely acknowledge you for the question. And remember this. Before I go, just keep this in mind. There is no such thing as a bad question. Take it to heart. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Anton Criminal Mosley, naturally. Thank you for watching the first episode of Ask Criminal 2K13. I'll let you boy. The champ is out. Peace.